take my kids from me and act like that? In today's video, we're counting down the top 5 most disrespectful defendants ever seen in a courtroom. From shocking outbursts to outrageous acts of defiance, these individuals pushed the boundaries of disrespect. Get ready to witness the moments that shock judges, lawyers, and the entire justice system. Meet Alan McCarty, who got arrested and charged for making scary threats to a judge in a child custody case. But things didn't go well for him. The judge ruled against McCarty and took away his kids. But wait, it gets worse. He continued being terribly rude to the judge during court hearings. Take my kids from me and act like that. You in the you get loud with me? Is that what you're gonna do? No. Well then do it again. Come on. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to think over here. Fuck the other room this time. Yes, sir. Later, McCarty is moved to another room to watch the court through a one-way glass, and he continues on making a disturbance there as well. It was pure disrespect. After being found guilty for the threats, McCarty got slapped with a whopping 20-year prison sentence. And guess what? The judge even gave him an extra 10 days for causing trouble in the courtroom. Let's move on to another shocking, outrageous behavior. Introducing Jeremy Christian, who was found guilty of a horrifying crime in Portland, Oregon. Christian's terrible actions unfolded on a crowded train when he suddenly went on a racist rant towards two young women. Brave bystanders stepped in to intervene, but tragically, the situation escalated. Christian viciously stabbed and killed two men, while seriously injuring another. The shocking crime was captured on camera, including Christian fleeing the scene. However, passengers on the train didn't let him escape, and he was arrested just a mile away. During his arrest, Christian was sitting in the back of patrol car and says this. Later, he was convicted of two counts of murder and attempted murder. When it came to the sentencing, one of the victim's family members delivered a victim impact statement, which triggered Christian's outrageous outburst. For his disrespectful insults and disturbing attitude, the judge, in response, handed down a severe punishment, two consecutive life terms, and over 25 years for his other convictions. Now, let's shift our attention to another shocking and outrageous courtroom incident. Introducing Spencer Allen Boston, a 20-year-old involved in a traffic stop. Just two months prior, Boston received citations and allegation for speeding and possessing marijuana. In a video captured during the proceedings, Boston voices his frustration, expressing his belief that marijuana laws are unjust. He argues that the people deserve better, claiming that marijuana is a harmless drug that has been around for decades. Yes, sir. I think it's very unfair, the marijuana law here. Um, I think we the people deserve better because marijuana is a very harmless drug. And it's been around for ages, since the 80s and 90s. Uh, I've heard that baloney all my life, so don't go any further on that. Yes, sir. I don't and know whether it's good or bad. All I know is yes, that state still has it against the law. I swore to uphold the laws, and I have to uphold the laws <laughs> as a judge. It probably is unfair, but... I can't change it. You've got to go see the legislature to get that changed. Yes, sir. And if you Boston decides to take matters into his own hands and pulls out what appears to be a joint. Surprisingly, his actions go unnoticed until he may have finally made his case. Judge Barry takes immediate action, charging Boston with disorderly conduct, possession, and holding him in contempt of court. As a consequence, Boston is sentenced to 10 days in jail. Now, let's turn our focus to yet another rude and outrageous courtroom event. Welcome to the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice in Detroit, Michigan, where we delve into the sentencing of 25-year-old Amanda Casale. 
Kasale stands accused and has been found guilty of driving under the influence, causing a fatal head-on collision that claimed the life of 31-year-old Jerome Zerker and caused severe injuries to his fiancée, Brittany Johnson, who they share five children with. Before the sentencing, we witness a heart-wrenching impact statement delivered by the victim's sister, Doreen Zerker. Emotions run high as Doreen confronts Kasale, expressing the profound devastation caused by her actions. However, amidst the courtroom's atmosphere, an unexpected disturbance arises. Laughter and smiles radiate from Kasale's mother seated in the gallery, drawing the attention of Judge Kiana Lillard. Kasale's mother, Donica South, is held in criminal contempt and taken into custody. Her disruptive behavior disrupted the proceedings, leading to her sentencing of 93 days in the Wayne County Jail. As for Kasale, she receives a sentence of 3 to 15 years in the Michigan Department of Corrections. However, the story takes a surprising turn. The next morning, Donna, Kasale's mother, appears before Judge Lillard, expressing remorse for her actions. I yes, I deeply apologize for what I did. I was under a lot of stress. And I deeply apologize for what I did in your court. I just needed to get out. And it's been very hard for me this year, and I know for the other family. And I'm so sorry for what I did. And I know it was wrong, and I apologize. Understanding the gravity of her behavior, Judge Lillard modifies Donna's sentence for direct criminal contempt from 93 days to just one day, with credit for time served. Last but not least, we bring you the shocking case of Base Webb, a 30-year-old resident of Paris, Kentucky. Webb's outrageous actions during his trial left everyone in disbelief. This surveillance video, captured outside the Kentucky jail a week prior to his trial, reveals the disturbing moment when Webb, a former inmate, attempted to run over two jail employees with his car. One man narrowly escaped, but the other suffered injuries after being pinned against the wall. Fast forward to Webb's first court appearance before Judge Vanessa Dixon. It became apparent that Webb had no intentions of showing any respect for the law. In a shocking display of defiance, he spat on Judge Dixon, leaving everyone in the courtroom stunned. But that was only the beginning of Webb's contemptuous behavior. Due to his involvement in numerous other crimes, he was ultimately sentenced to life imprisonment. And that wraps up our countdown of the top five most disrespectful defendants in court. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more captivating content.